Good day all you wonderful people, welcome to Adventure Together, my name's Al and today we are going up and over Forrester Pass which is something that uh, instills fear in the hearts of all through hikers except for us, we're, we're up for the challenge. So today we've got to just go up and over the Forrester Pass which is mostly mountaineering, so the kind of stuff we did on Whitney yesterday and then but the challenge is instead of having just a little bit in our packs i've got full pack now so this is going to be really really tough with the full weight of my pack and uh after that we've got like a 12 mile run to the campsite which is all downhill but we don't know what kind of conditions the snow is going to be in over that side of the path but let's give it a go so last night my shoes froze and i had to force my feet into them and I also had wet socks, so I'm wearing wet socks inside frozen shoes and I don't think my feet have ever been colder. They're so cold right now. The pain is unreal. following in the steps of many intrepid hikers before me who've come all the way up here. There she is, ladies and gentlemen, Forrester Pass. A couloir, very steep, snow covered. Luckily it's in the shadows. It's gonna gear up with the crampons and ice axe and make my way up. So this morning, you probably only saw Bushwhack, Jackpot, and Worth It at camp. That's because we camped a little further on than Stitches and Rooster and Pisa. But they got up super early and passed us, so they are already making their way up here. I can see one of them now. How's everyone feeling this morning? Pumped up and ready to go or just cold and ready to get it over with? I'm actually Excited. warmed up and psyched now. Yeah, I'm, I'm ready. Excited. I'm cold. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I've been looking forward to this pass for probably like five years now, so. You're gonna enjoy every second of it. Mm -hmm. For sure. So gentlemen, how are you feeling now you're about a third of the way up? Good. And back on rock instead of snow. <laughs> Happy to be back on rock. Yeah. Yeah, I was a little nervous. Just it's been a while since I've had any exposure, so um but it felt good. I mean yeah. it felt really sturdy. My crampons felt great, so Yeah, felt good. Yeah. Time I'm for the happy. shoot. <laughs> This is worth it going for that last traverse. Hi. Hello. Few more steps, you got this. Go. 
Good job, man. Good job. Fish bumpy. Boom. Boom. Well done. These are the easy steps now. Oh, and there's the fish. Yeah, baby. Boom. And there's Don't a fist. Yeah, Boom. Baby. The whole team reunited. You guys are epic. Not only... I don't know how you freaking got all the way to their campsite in one day after summiting with and coming back down alive. Yeah, but you got there this morning at like what? Leaving at one? We left at two. Yeah, we left at two. That's insane. Yeah. You guys are... You guys killed it. Dead. I'm pretty dead. Oh, it's so good to see you on the Yeah! yeah. We are now part of Kings Canyon National Park, baby. Forrester Pass, 13,200 feet. Whitney is a side trail, so this is the highest point on the whole of the PCT. We are only downhill from here. No more hill climbing, no more mountain climbing. That's the rules. So this is what we just came up. Yeah. And that's where we're heading into that. It's so beautiful. Stitcher just said it's beautiful with the clouds rolling in. I couldn't agree more. It's uh, absolutely beautiful. So while everyone else is walking down, Pisa is going to glissade. Off he goes. Doesn't look like it's the most successful glissade ever. Right, good luck. Thank you. This is Forrester Pass from the other side, and uh, see if you can spot where you think we came over. Let me give you a couple of seconds. And it is this bit here. We went over the top of that in between those rocks. And then we came down from there and went we to here. Have you ever got to a place and felt like you're the only person for miles around? It looks like over there, there was an avalanche that's flattened all of those trees. Now, ladies and gentlemen, after walking through one of the most incredible landscapes I've ever been lucky enough to find myself in, we are now less than two miles from our camp and uh, I'm looking forward to cooking dinner and having an early night. So ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the inside of the Green Palace. The day is 
over we got to camp and shortly after setting up the rain started pouring so I've been taking shelter inside my shelter and uh, today it was epic getting up and over Forrester Pass and all of those views were immense they were some of the best views I've seen anywhere in the world so a real privilege to have been part of it tomorrow we make our way out to Bishop we're going to go through Kearsarge and down into Independence and we've got a couple of cars from people in the group whose friends are picking us up and going to take us all the way to Bishop. So we're going to go there and we're going to Nero, do all our chores, zero, rest and I'm going to be editing these vlogs for you and then we will get back on trail on Monday morning. So I will do a very short vlog tomorrow and as usual I don't vlog on a zero but you still get your Monday to Friday vlogs anyway so with that that's it from me thank you for joining me and I'll see you in the next one